Well, flooded and homeless, uh, two words that pretty much describe the situation that hundreds of people in the valley are in right now. Uh, some of those people renting their homes, and that has a concern of what's next. Channel 5's Christian Colon went looking for answers. A pack of animals standing on high ground. The water still nearly three feet high. A family in despair. I didn't think this would happen. It always rains here and never floods. In just three hours, the water rose. That was four days ago. Not much has changed. Ponce's home is uninhabitable. The family staying in a shelter. All her family of four has left is inside this van. Toiletries, clothes, and their two air conditioners. The only thing they can sell to get some money. We don't have money, no food. The refrigerator was floating. Our bed and stove all flooded. Bonsa wants to start the recovery process. She rents this home and spoke to her landlord. But he is also a victim of the floods. She doesn't know what to do. We don't have a contract. This is the ranch, not the city. We just pay and that's it. Channel 5 News spoke to insurance agent Florinda Gamboa. She says these are some of the questions people need answered when they don't have flood insurance. Really depends on their true situation. Do they have the financial wherewithal to look for another place? Will their landlord clean up the place that they're in? Is their landlord helping them in any way while they're being displaced? If a renter isn't getting any help, they do have legal rights. Channel 5 News spoke to a disaster attorney for the Texas Legal Aid. She tells renters need to keep these things in mind. Number one, document the damage. People should take pictures of everything inside their home that is of value. Receipts are also helpful. This documentation will be needed for your landlord, flood insurance, or FEMA. Number two, review the lease. Understand what are the renter's responsibilities and those of the landowners. If you do not have any written contract, you still have rights under Texas law. That is when you should seek an attorney. Number three, document everything in writing. Every deal you make, you need to write it down. Written proof is essential. The disaster attorney adds, never get rid of your payment history and be careful if you stop paying rent. That can be used against you. In all cases, seek an attorney. Christian Colon, Channel 5 News, Santa Rosa.